Okay, with the list of this uh, information from this command line to SMM LS, the next uh, sub uh, task mount the image with a low setup, explore the partitions with the WX hex editor, and identify the information manually shown with this MLS, which means we need to find this information manually. The primary table does file 16 and so on. So the first step, we need to uh, use low, low setup. So do low setup, find image one, to attach image one or mount image one to a loop device. It will find a free loop, loop device for us automatically. Okay, we you can use a do low setup to list to find valid trace. Uh, image one, you see is uh, on loop six. Okay, now we need to go to the folder we we saved our WX hex editor. As w X hex editor I put in this uh, download folder. Here it's inside this, this place. Build. I would like to copy this one uh, to my lab 02 to make it easier. Control C, paste here. Control V. Now we can run WX hex. Oops. WX hex editor to open this uh, loop six. So we need a sudo followed by that uh, dv loop six. I would like to run it in the back, uh, run in the background. Still now. This means well, I don't want to show any uh, error messages with an extra and a symbol, which means run it in the background so I can continue in this command line window. So here you see a uh, loop six device is open here. You can see uh, how do we read this uh, information on this raw disk image. Each red line, it just uh, Serve as a boundary or block. So here, this is block zero, this is block one, this is block two, and so on. And each byte it has an address. The minimum addressable unit on x86 CPU machine is one byte. You see, each byte it has an address. For example, this FA address is zero 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 zero, and this one is zero 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 one. So we read it like this. 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. and this one C. When we come back here, is uh, two nine, and uh, twenty nine. You see, it's a uh, this number. You see, it's a hex number. I think this uh, this this list, but it uh, it's a decimal number. So could we uh, make them uh, uniformly? You just right click, then you can see it's uh, changed to a. Uh, Hex number 1D. Here is 1C, then you come to 1D. This uh, 21st is at the address 1D. You right click this uh, one, it turned to a octal number system. Right click again, then you see a good, a good display for our information. You see this block zero followed by the index inside this block, here block one, block two. Inside this block, here this, uh, how to run this one. Uh, please take note, try to understand this stuff. I strongly suggest you uh, to take note, try to understand what I'm doing. And uh, it's recorded and the video will be posted after the class. And if you didn't download and extract that WX header, you will not 
be able to run this one. Also, I copied that WX hex added to this lab two, my lab zero two folder. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, let's uh, continue this one. Here you see a uh, show as blocks. This one will be be very convenient uh, for us to manually analyze the information. You right click again, it come back. So we would like to show it as uh, like this one. But you see the number also shown as decimal number. Totally, each sector, we have, uh, you know, we have uh, 512 bytes, right? So the address, the index, the offset inside block zero, it would be zero, two, three, one, uh, zero, one, two, three, until 50, uh, 11. The last one is, is the address 50, uh, 11. Uh, we could, uh, let's see whether we can change the format of this uh, column. The column, I right click, uh, left click, it does not change, so it just uh, show as uh, hex number. So for hex number, for example, this, uh, if you want to determine what the uh, index for this AA, here is uh, 130, but this one is a hex number, this one is a decimal number. So you need to convert this one, this column label into a decimal number, then plus this one. For example, this last one is a uh, 12 in, in a hex number. So how do we convert it? We would like to use a calculator with a cal calculator. I actually, I don't like calculator. I like a, a Python. So I would like to open a new tab to run Python. Uh, I Python, I Python 3. Oops, I didn't have it, so I need to sudo install this uh, I Python 3. Uh, for this uh, computer, I think I have a Python, I Python 3, but I installed with another tool. It's okay you install your I Python 3 with this command because I use this uh, virtual box for another course. Uh, three, 352, so I installed a, I use a conda to activate, I use a conda to manage my Python. So it's okay for you to use this one. If you are not taking my, my uh, address 352. Activate, I uh, would like to activate the base, then type I Python 3. Just type I Python. Uh, I Python in my base is also not installed. I need a conda install I Python. And press yes, then it will install I Python for me. So I type I. Python. Now I have this uh, powerful calculator. I want to find that one. The last uh, byte, what is the index? It should be 511, right? So it's, uh, it's a hex number 12 plus this one, 493. Plus 493, you will get 511. Actually, you can count. Is an index. The last one is five one. The first one is zero zero, and it's a it's a block. It's a block zero. Here, block one, block two, and so on. Now we want to find the information. Those partition information. How do we uh, find them? Oh, uh, it's a uh, MBR. Right? It's MBR uh, scheme. You can see the next block one and block two. They're all zero, which means they're empty. Yeah, you compare with this uh, command window here. The first sector, the first sector save the primary, primary table. Then we have two sectors here. We have two sectors allocated. And there, these lines you see the showed as a, this is not two sector for, sorry, here. We, we, we need to go to a, We have so many sectors is allocated, and this uh, 
first primary and second, this dots here, this dots fat 16 is allocated start from this uh, second 2048. So which means we, we have uh, 2048 sectors are empty before the first uh, primary partition. We can check that. Here you can see uh, you have so many uh, empty uh, blocks. How do we jump to that uh, blocks 2048? Let's see whether we have tools that we can uh, jump to that uh, place. Here, search panel. Oops. I want to find a place to go to offset. So we can go to offset, go to which sector? We go to a 2048, right? And there is the in decimal number, 2048, that sector. And uh, from type of branch big is uh, okay from but it go to offset so it's go to from the beginning and uh, go now you will come to this uh, 2048 you see uh, this uh, fat 16 is here there's a uh, fat partition this one the uh, fat dos fat 16 and the next one fat 32 you need to go to this uh, offset. For the similar way, you can uh, find uh, all these uh, partitions. Okay, now we would like to, how to analyze manually, to analyze the first uh, block, the, this uh, primary, this one, this uh, primary table. So we need to uh, go to uh, MBR, link to see how to analyze this MBR. Right, this M MBR, you can see uh, how to analyze it. Structure or modern standard MBR here. Um, zero was this code, zero, zero DA, and uh, so on. What are this stuff? Here, there are exact four primary uh, partition tables entry in the MBR partition table scheme. In our image one, we created three uh, primary partition and one extended partition. What are some operating system and uh, system tools extended this to file? Like this, but we, we don't use it. Now we, we want to uh, find the information about this generic MBR. First is the bootstrap code area, and its length is uh, 446. Then we will have this partition table. Each one, each entry is a 16 byte, and it just start from this offset. Here, this is the decimal number. Here is the hex number. And the last one, the last two bytes is the boot signature. So you can find the boot signature here File file AA, the last uh, two uh, bytes. File file AA is the boot signature. We wanted to find that, right? Now the boot code, the boot trap code area is uh, this, uh, the first uh, 446 uh, bytes. Here, 446 byte. Here, uh, how do you find that 446? This one, if you click here, here I want to know the offset. You can check the curse offset. It's a four three nine. Uh, four three nine. We we want to go to this four four six, right? Here four four nine. Four four seven. Four four six. Four six is the is a. Four six six is the offset. It says the size is of four four six, so which means the boot code stopped here. Four four five stopped at four four five. Its size is a four for six because it starts from zero. So which means the bootstrap code area is a span from from offset zero to uh, offset to to offset four for five. Now four for six is the first entry here. Four for six is the first partition entry. And you take sixteen bytes here, take sixteen bytes 
out of this one, here you can see my C selections. My selections uh, is here selected four four six two four five five. You want to select uh, sixteen bytes. So here is a uh, sixteen bytes. You can. Uh, oops, here's not not. How many bytes we have here? Here four, four eight so sixteen. We I need to continue go to find a sixteen bytes. Sixteen it would be a. We plus sixteen plus a four four six. Sixteen plus four four four. Four six, it would be four five two. Oops, it would be four six, four six two, four six one. So we go to four six one. Here, here we selected uh sixteen bytes, right? Because this is six four two is the second entry. So this, this one. It give me the information of the first partition entry. Now, for each partition entry, how do we analyze it? You can right click and see this partition entry table. Here, partition entry table is actually is also in, inside this this web page. You click it, jump to this partition entry. In this partition entry table, it has 16 bytes. How do we analyze these 16 bytes manually? We need to follow this uh, follow this structure. So inside this, that 16 bytes, the zero byte, it shows the status of physical drive, and bit seven set is for active, for bootable. Old MBR only accepts zero x uh, AD or zero x zero zero means inactive. So we can compare this third one. Here, you can see that byte is uh, zero zero, right? That byte is zero zero, the zero bytes I put it here. The zero byte is zero zero. Zero zero means uh, inactive. The first uh, partition is inactive. Now, the for this one, from from offset zero one takes three bytes, which means uh, zero four zero one zero four takes three bytes. That three bytes means the CHS address. So first uh, absolute sector in the partition, and this information is described by three bytes. We can we can see the next three rows to determine the header, uh, sector, cylinder. So if we determine it, and you also need to make sure these bits only here. H uh, seven to zero is the header one byte, one byte that that byte is zero four, right? Zero four. Zero four for hex number is a series is a still four in decimal number. So our header is a, is a four, and this is a sector. Sector you when you check it now, it has this information inside, and the bit sector in bits zero five to zero bits seven to six or the high bits or cylinder. So that uh, number is zero one, zero one, which means high bits or one zero, and it's a uh, low bit, or uh, or zero 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 one, only a one here at the lowest bit. And uh, you only need to identify this uh, start, end, and length, so you don't need to uh, find all this this information. But I, I just show you how to manually analyze all this stuff. Now, uh, the partition type is uh, this zero six, right? Zero six is the partition type. Now we want to find the list of partition type zero six. What does it mean? Uh, zero six is a uh, does this one fat 16p? So it's a fat 16p, fat 16. We got it. There's a fat 16 here. We know that the first first entry it represents this uh, this one. This is uh, the first uh, primary uh, primary partition 
you see it has an entry inside of this primary table. That prim primary table contains the partition in information or all these partitions. Now, this uh, fifth byte, it uh, indicates the CHS address for the last absolute sector in partition. Last absolute sector in the partition, the CHS address, you take out three bytes, and the format is described by three bytes. You can see the next uh, three rows. We would like to use this one, LBA, right? We don't like it that uh, CH or representation. So for this, uh, for this one, is uh, from byte eight. Byte eight, take out four bytes here. Index eight. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is from here. From here, take out four bytes. The four bytes you can see here is 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's my four, four bytes. Then the next four bytes is the number of sectors in the partition. So I take out that number. And this is a little Indian, so you, you need to make sure it's little end, but here it didn't say little end or big end, we will check it in, in the machines, it's a little end. Now we can check the number, the number it says is a zero, zero, let's move, use a zero X first, zero, 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 eight, zero, 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 zero. This, uh, this means a uh, big end. In Intel is a little end, we need to reverse the order. First, we can see what this number it, it looks like. Here, it looks like this number. So, and uh, when you check this, it says is the first uh, absolute sector in this partition. It's clearly, it's not right. The, the first uh, sector in the partition is uh, for our DOS FAT16. This uh, first one is 2048, the start one. Now, we need to reverse this uh, number. Reverse this number, what we will get? We will get a zero X, reverse it, right? We we'll reverse this one, it would be a, we right from right to left, it would be zero, 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 uh, eight, zero, zero, right? The four bytes here, zero, 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 eight, zero, 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 we reverse the order. So we get a zero 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 eight zero zero. Now you see this number is two zero four eight. This is just the start. This one, the start uh, sector, as the stated here. The LBA of the first absolute sector in the partition. Now the next four bytes is the number of sectors in the partition. So the next four bytes would be start from uh, this one, zero zero two zero. 0300, right? So again, we need to uh, write in a uh, little India, which means we need to reverse those water with prepend with 0x, then we write that number is a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0, 0. So you will get this number, 2048.00. Now you check the length here, 2048.00 is exactly the length for this uh, first partition, right? Now for the next partition, this one, the next partition is described by the next entry. Totally we have four entries here when you check the board record. Table. Totally, we have four entry. Partition entry one, partition entry two, entry three, entry four. So, which means uh, the first three partitions here, primary partition one, partition two, partition three, you can find them for all from the first three part, uh, entries as I just the dumps trade you that uh, partition entry one. So, you know how to find them 
the other two. Now the the last entry, the isolated entry as we we make it as an extension partition, right? We created it as an extension partition here. You see it's, it's uh, enclosed in this uh, magenta box here. This is the extension uh, partition here, extended for P4. Now inside this extended partition, we have four partitions here. Now we want to find, to analyze this extended partition manually and uh, just choose one of them out of this uh, four partition inside this extended partition. So we need to go to find the fourth, fourth partition. So the fourth partition here is uh, from this offset, this partition entry number four. Partition entry number four is start from what's the number? 494. So 494 is the offset. So we go to a 493, 494 is this one. 494 and uh, take 16 bytes. We know the last two bytes are the signature. Now this is the last uh, entry. That, oh, that are four entries. Again, you can uh, analyze it manually, follow this uh, partition entry uh, here, the partition entry structure. We want to find, uh, first to find the partition type, right? The partition type, it would be extension partition type. Is it, is it, is index is a zero four. You come from here, zero, one, two, three, four. It's a zero file. So it's a zero file. Zero file of the partition type, we, we want to check what the partition type of zero file here. Partition type, let's move here. Partition type zero file is a extended partition. So we find this, uh, Zero file, extended partition. Now we also want to determine it's a uh, first absolute sector and uh, number of sectors, the last uh, eight bytes. So the last four bytes, we can uh, write it, can calculate with, with our Python. The last four bytes is zero X when you you read it zero 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 six three eight zero zero. So it's a zero 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 six three eight zero zero. Right? Now you see uh this one is its uh length here, the number of sectors in partition. And uh, it's a uh, start sector we use that zero X. The start sector is uh, would be from here, zero 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 nine six eight zero zero. So it's a zero 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 nine six eight zero zero. So you will get this number. Now we compare these two numbers with this uh, extended partition here. Extended partition. Ex uh, the extended partition is uh, from extended uh, table, oops, extended table where we start. The extended table is start from here. These are, those are three primary uh, one, right? Here, zero file, you see the type is also show, show up here. Zero file, the extended partition is from this uh, start place and uh, this uh, end place. This is the length. You will see the length is 407.552. The length uh, 407552. But the start looks, uh, the start here, 616448. 616448. So this is an extended partition. We, we get it. And here are those three primary partitions. This is extended partition. Inside this extended partition, we have an extended table. Now, this extended table contains the partition. Uh, partition uh, Entries of this, of those four partitions inside, inside this extended partition, this extended uh, table. Now we we want to know how to analyze this extended table. We the extended table the same as the, the 
primary table here, put uh, records, data, the, so we want to find the extended uh, partition table, whether we, whether it will be the same, right? This standard MBL, ex extended uh, board records is for the extended partition here. Extended board records, EBR, EBR, how do we uh, analyze this uh, EBR? Offset in the EBR, you can see uh, how do we, it's similar to that, to that uh, primary MBR, right? This extended uh, boot record is sim similar to this ma master boot record, but it's only here. This one is unused or filled with zero. So we go to that table to see, uh, see it. So that extended table, where is the start of that extended table? It starts from here. The extended table is, you know, this uh, DOS is extended. We need to go from this place. This is a sector. You copy that sector number and uh, go to offset, paste here, control V, paste here, and go. Now we come to this uh, place, but this place here you see it's uh, all field with zero, right? All field with zero, which means zero, zero, zero. The first uh, six, uh, the first four, four, six, four, four, six bytes, they are all filled with zero. Then we come to this entry. This entry, uh, the first entry is from four, four, six, the index. Okay, the index four four six. I think it's uh, here four four three, four 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 five four four six. You can check here four four six. Four four six is the index into this uh, block. This is a block, or this is the sector. Four six one six four four eight. This is the sector. Here, this is the sector six one six four four eight. Okay, now we find the first entry. Here, this is the first entry. And this time I would like to demonstrate you the, the last entry here, the last entry. Again, we can find that signature. Here that signature is 55AA, right? 55AA, which means the last uh, entry, the last entry, where, where is the four, first entry? The first entry would be uh, unused, unused. Here it field with zero or unused. Anyway, you can we can check that here you see the field with zero. Zero 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 unused. Now we check this uh partition tape's second entry. Now you see uh, these are the difference. It's not exactly like that uh MBR. So we need to check how to analyze this uh first entry and this second entry. Is it, that meaning should be a uh, different, right? We don't have a link to go go to this uh, entry uh, stuff. You you can check here. Structure or MBR or EBR sixteen byte partition table entry. So it still looks like a, a similar. But we have uh, we have four here. You see, we have four uh, partitions. So why it just show, it, uh, show only two entries? So those two entries, how could we find the other two? So we check here. How could we find the other two? Uh, we, we need to uh, check this one, first partition size. Now we want to find the other partitions. Where could we find it? Their structure is uh, looks something looks like this, like a linked list. We, we check this, check this table, uh, check these statements, and try to see how to find those partitions. You see here, right? It looks like uh, this. Then you can go on the first entry, second entry, then lots of stuff. Just like a linked list, link them together. Here is 
we have an example. You can see how to, inside this example, there are three logical partitions. Here, there's a one, two, three, three logic partitions. And uh, you, the calculation, you can follow if, if you don't remember you, uh, after the time, so you can follow this explanation, how to find their start sector and number of sectors. So here is the example, how to find them. Now let's uh, go to this one. Here these uh, entries, it didn't say the structure. We need to, again, we need to come here to read this stuff to see how to uh, analyze it manually. Actually, you still can use the same techniques as I demonstrated. You read this stuff to determine each uh, What's the meaning of those uh, fields? Then you check the, the contents, All right? Here, we need to, uh, maybe we need some uh, record. When we read through this stuff, The values, how do we determine this stuff? Start sector is a relative noun. We need to pay attention. The start sec sector is, an, is a not a absolute offset anymore. It's a relative offset between this EBR sector and the first sector of the logic partition. When you check this one, is a you check the MBR, the primary MBR, is the absolute sector in the partition. So which means it's uh, relative to the first partition in the disk. But this one is relative to the first sector of the logic partition here, between the EBR sector and the first sector of the logic partition. These are often the same value for each EPR on the same hard disk, usually 6.3 for Windows XP and older. And the number of sectors is a total count of sectors from for, for this uh, logic partition. So in order to find the starting uh, sector and the last, uh, the number of sectors for the last one, we need to analyze from the first one. Because you based on this stuff, we need to find from the first one. Otherwise, we, we, we have no idea to find the last one. So we need to start from the first uh, logical partition. Now we need to uh, check. This is the first entry. What does it mean? Again, we need to uh, check these two. So the last uh, four bytes, the first entry. So the first entry is uh, from uh, this place, right? It's from 446. Here, yeah, the first entry from 446. Four, four, is this the first entry? First entry, 446, here. Currently, I'm at uh, index 446. Now I take out uh, 16 bytes, it would go to a 461. Here, come here. Now I selected 16 bytes. And these 16 bytes, you check the 16 byte, how do we analyze it here? We, we like to go to the last uh, eight bytes. The partition size, here the partition size is this uh, last four bytes here. The last four bytes is this one. Now again, I, I would like to uh,
use uh, Python to do that conversion. This number is 00019900. So 0x00019000. So you see it's a, this is the size is a one zero two four zero zero. So the size is a, of the first uh, extended partition here. You see this is our first extended partition. One zero two four zero zero. Now it's a offset. We want to check the offset. This offset is. Uh, the next uh, four bytes, the next four bytes, you see it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it would be 0x, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 8, 0, 0. Now you see this number is 2048, 2048. When you check this, this one here, this is the one uh, in the extended uh, Right, this is a extended, uh, first extended partition, DOS, uh, FRAT 16, is this one, this one, FRAT 16, the first uh, logic partition, and its size is 50 megabytes. Now, the offset is 2048, so why it's not this one? This one is the absolute, absolute, uh, you know this is the absolute offset, right? So which means how do we get the relative offset? We need this offset minus the beginning of this extended table, right? We need, need this number minus this number. The beginning of this ex extended table here. We need that one. I show it like here. This one is the first partition. We need its uh, beginning minus the beginning of this uh, extended, uh, the whole, the whole is the extended uh, partition. This is a logic partition. The logic partition is offset. It's offset as it says. It's offset is a uh, relative offset between this EPR sector and the first sector of the logic partition. So which means we need this number minus this number, and you should see uh, the difference is 2048. We can do it. Copy this one, paste it here, minus, because they are decimal numbers, so we just uh, do it. Here, this the first uh, sector of this extended partition. Copy here, and paste here. Right, you get a 2048. So it's a relative offset. And here it lists the absolute offset. But in this uh, description, in this uh, entry, it's a relative offset. So we get the information, the start sect starting sector and the number of sectors. For the first entry. Now for the second entry. For the second entry, again we can get this uh, but now there's something uh, we need to pay attention. The second in EBR partition table will contain zero bytes if it's uh, the last EBR in the extended partition. Otherwise it points to the next EBR in the EBR chain. So we have an EBR chain and it points to the next EBR in the EBR chain. This is the second entry. Here the EBR, there's the first EBR. First EBR, now there's a second EBR, the third EBR. Why it says is the point to the next EBR. Here we have the, you see this arrow, you can consider as a chain of EBRs.
And here, the partition type code and uh, addressing, what kind of addressing we use? Partition type code, addressing. We know the partition type code is uh, through uh, This partition type means the inside the second entry here. Go to the second entry. Partition uh, type code. It's a uh, offset. Is a uh, within that entry at location four. At location four, is that a uh, partition uh, type code? The second entry is this one. I hope I didn't make, make a mistake. Uh, actually, you can always check this uh, offset. Second entry is offset start from, uh, uh, second is start from four, oops, second one is four, six, two. So start from four, six, two. I, I move a little bit fast. Four, six, one, four, six, two. Start from six, four, six, two and two, until uh, 477. All right, here, this is the second entry. Now I have this one, and it's a type here. The check is a partition type. This partition type is a four. Inside that entry is a four. Here you, zero, one, two, three, four. Four is a zero file. Now zero file. 05 is a CHS addressing. You CHS uh, addressing and this addressing, we need, need a conversion. And just a partition must have a valid partition type. Now the start sector. The start sector is a LBA address. Now the next EBR minus the LBA address. Now the extended partitions, the first EBR. There's a start sector. In other words, the relative address. Now let's uh, find the start sector here. The start sector is the, we know the start sector and the number of sectors are the last eight bytes within that entry, right? Within that entry. Within that entry, uh, first we can calculate the last four bytes to see its size. The last four bytes here is the last four bytes is uh, you can see is exactly as what we have. No, it's not uh, the same. Here, the last four bytes is zero 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 one nine one one two. So the last four bytes is zero x zero 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 one nine one one two. So we get this number one zero two six seven four. You check this one. The next one. Here you see extend, extended table one, extended table two, and in this extended table two, we have this. Uh, uh, actually, we get this. Uh, this the uh, EBR chain here. Those extended. You see this. This the chain. EBR extended. Those extended. This is the chain. And uh, inside the, the chain, each EPR, the, you, you see we, you have a uh, partition. Now, my chain, is, the next one is this one, right? This one it, uh, contains this uh, file 32. When you check this, uh, its length, it's 102674. So it's what I get, 102674. Is this one, is this extended? So it's a little bit confusing. Is a chain or extended table, extended, uh, extended table, and inside that one, each one it contains a, a partition, a logic partition. Now this logic partition, but we we still need to find the start, that start. Uh, So you, you can do it uh, by, by yourself, just like this. Number of sectors is the next four bytes. The next four bytes is uh, from here. Uh, 
zero 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 one nine e and e e. So this is the size one zero six two two two. Here that size, when we check that size, we didn't uh, see a, a size of one, this one, one zero six two two two. Did I made any mistake? Here this is a last four bytes. This is the next, uh, the last four bytes next to the last one. Zero 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 one nine e nine e e. I didn't make a mistake, but now we need to check what what it means. Here's the number of sectors of this, uh, the second entry. Second entry number of sectors. It's a total count of sectors for the next uh, launch, but count start from the next EBR sector. So here, this is why we, we, we didn't see the, the exam. It count start from the next EBR sector. Total number of total, total count of sectors for for next logic partition. So here, this next log logic partition is is a FAT thirty two, but its size is this size, right? This size is this size. As it says, it's a count from the next EBR sector. Count from here. Count from. Uh, from this place. This is uh, the EBR here to the EBR. It comes from there. And this is a start second number. Then you use this uh, end second number. Here, this is the end second number. If you minus it, will, you be able, will we be able to get this number? The extended table, oops, this is the extended table. It's from this uh, EBR, next EBR sector. So we know this is the EBR sector, next EBR sector. So we need to confirm it's from, but these two are the same here. Those extended, extended table, they're all from the same place here. From the same place here, and uh, this one it, uh, it shows this number. When we check this number, one zero six two two two. Here, this number is one zero six four four seven. We need to uh, find some stuff. This is the end sector. Copy this one. And the end sector minus which start? Now this start, which one is the start? It does start from from this one or from this one? Right? When you check the number, here two to two, so it's uh, likely from this place. This is the last sector contained by this one, so it would be from uh, seven two two six seven one. Let's copy it. Paste here. Uh, we get a, a number one zero two six seven two. It's not not the right one. So here, start from the next EBR. The next EBR, where we start from? Let's start from here. This is a EBR. That's extended. We minus this one, but we need to, uh, let's see what's the 
the number so we can figure out which in which uh, one is the stored one. Oops, I just take the same number here. This is a start. Replace it. We get you see just one, just a one difference. One difference is is likely. We know the index is from zero to. Right, it start from zero, and also whether it's inclusive. Here we know this one. We need to still. We still need to minus the one to get the number. This one, we use this one minus this one. But here, there is one is uh, is occupied, is taken by this uh, entry. So we need a minus one. Then we get uh, this number, right? We use this one minus one, we get this number. Then this is what uh, we need. So how do we do that one? This is a logical partition. Is the second number minus here minus uh, minus this? There's an extended uh, table here EBR EBR extended table here. Okay, right, this is how do we uh, analyze uh, this stuff? So you can continue that process and uh, follow. For this example, to see how do you do those uh, calculation, but uh, you are strongly suggest with our uh, uh, with our image to do the analysis. Actually, we would like to find the the next. How do we find the next uh, one? We know the first uh, two we want to have, right? Now we want to find the third one. How do we find the third one? Here, in order to find the third one, how do we go to that place to find to find our third one? It gives us only the first entry and uh, second entry, and we know the the first entry, the third entry, and the fourth entry are filled with zero. But now, from this second entry, in this second entry, how do we from that second entry, go to the third entry. Here's the first entry, here's the second entry. Now from this uh, second entry, how do we go to the third entry? The third entry, let's see whether there are some statements. Uh, we, it looks like we need to go through this uh, this one to find that uh, third entry. Uh, if, if you have interest, you, you can do it by read this stuff and uh, do it by, by yourself. This is not required in, in our lab, but you you learned how to find those entries manually. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's continue our class. Here, let's see how to uh, find this chain and how to do the calculation. From this uh, raw data, you know how to identify those uh, partition tables. Now, I, I would like to use this example to see how do we do the calculation with uh, extended partition table list here. First, let's uh, look at this example. How to how do we uh, form this chain? Here, you, here we have three uh, logic partition, right? First, second, and the last three log uh, logic partition. And for the first one, the starting sector and the number of sectors. The LBA start at this. Uh, address for this extended partition. Our extended partition here. Our extended partition start from this place. 
this start start sector. The first three is the primary uh, partitions, and start here, and it says has size and at here, and has size this one. So you can map our situation to this example: the start, end, and the size for the extended partition. Now, for the first uh, sector, number of sectors, you have each one. You have a first entry, second entry, first entry, second entry. You can see uh, this uh, first entry is used to represent here number of sectors. This is the let's check these numbers. File zero to zero minus five thousand. Here is just an example. Six thousand sectors, three uh, logic partitions. It's a relative to the start of this extended partition. You see this uh, starting sector is a file zero to zero minus this one. We get a twenty. And the number of sectors is it's a uh, last uh, second minus this uh, file zero to zero. We get this number of sectors. This is for the first entry. Now for the second entry, it's the next one here, the next EBR. And 7,000 minus 12,000 here. It always relative to this uh, 12,000, relative to the start of this extended partition. Here, it point to the second entry, so 7,000 minus this uh, 5,000. 5, this 2,000 is the relative offset. Here, 2,000 minus 5,000. The relative offset is 2,000 for this uh, second entry. And it's the size. Here is the size, it, it, it is this one. We know the size can be gotten from the, the entry record, right? Now, and it, uh, it is just suppose its size is this uh, one one thousand for this uh, this uh, second logic logic disk, and it need to take away here the ninety sectors unused, ninety sector uh, sector unused. And the entry, the entry takes takes one sector. This is a table, the table takes one sector plus this uh, nineteen sector totally twenty uh, sectors is used for the partition information. So you need need that uh, one thousand minus twenty, you get this uh, nine hundred eighty. So the same for this one, uh, two thousand. 2000 minus uh, 20, you get this one. This is the first uh, logic partition. And this is the second logical partition. Its number is uh, decided by here. Oh, sorry, this is the address. This address, the size is here. The size for the first one is here. Size for the first one is this place. And the size for this one is here. 980. The size for the the last one. This is uh, the last one. As we know, this one determines this one. So, but uh, the last one is uh, determined by by this uh, this number. Here that. Uh, Offset number of sectors. This uh, oops, I, I make confusion. Starting sector number of sectors. 
here this left uh, list is the offset the absolute the absolute uh, sector offset so when we come from this place the first entry the starting sector is started from file zero to zero here started file zero to zero there are 19 sectors unused so you get the relative offset is 20 relative to this uh, start of this extended partition this is 5000 get 20 20 is uh, relative offset and the size number of sectors is determined by this one so you get this uh, 1980 you can see there is a uh, plus one as we discussed because they are inclusive that's why we need a plus one here to determine this one now the the second entry it determines the offset the relative offset of this uh, the second uh, entry here 7000 minus 2000 2000 uh, minus 5000 we get 2000 this is a 2000 is a relative to the start so we get this one it point to this uh, entry now this entry determines this determines this uh, logical partitions here when you check this uh Stuff. Everyone, it has an entry here. It has an entry. This entry, just one sector here. This entry, one sector. Then we have two zero four eight unallocated, but here it just say uh, twenty or ninety unallocated. Here we have two zero four eight unallocated. Then come to this uh, logic partition. After the logic partition, again we have two zero four eight unallocated. Then we come to the next uh, EBR entry, then the next uh, logic partition, and so on, just like this. So you follow this uh, e example, you will be able to analyze how to do the calculation, just like this. And this. Uh, this sector determined here is the size determined by this one. The second entry here 3,000. This 3,000 is the size, number of sectors of this last, last uh, logic partition. But here is 3,000, here is uh, 2980, as we discussed. That one it has uh, relative stuff here. Number of sectors. Count part, count starts from the next EBR sector. Okay, this is for MBR. Ne? Then for our lab, what do you need to show? For our lab, you need to identify the information shown with MMLS, so you need your WX editor to highlight those sectors which identified with this MMLS. So you just use this one, jump to that sector, yeah, jump to those sectors, then you will find, for example, this last one, this Linux. I only need to jump to this one. We know inside this output, they are all absolute uh, offset so we jump to this one we will get this linux here let's jump it go to offset i want to jump to the last one go oops I, did i make any mistake the last one the linux Nine seven one eight four zero. Nine seven one eight four zero. 
start from here, but here it's a uh, uh, all0 here this is Linux uh, all zero why it's all zero because we didn't uh, add any information yet we need to find the what we find is this table so find the table we need to go to this place seven seven zero this is a table the table just one second this a uh, logical partition because currently we we don't have anything inside this logical partition yet. For other logic partition, you will see something there. There are four zeros, for example, this uh, leading swap, this uh, window 90 file. So you, you only need to go to this table. So the table is uh, offset is this one. Copy it, you turn the table. Uh, go to offset, press here, go. So you see this uh, table here. Again, you see similar things, right? File, file, A, A, Z, N. So you only need to highlight like this and say this one is a, uh, is a, uh, this one. Then you are done. Or you can use a uh, annotate. Put it here, annotate like this. Put this in your annotation. This is for this one. So that's it. How do you identify? The information in WX hack hacks editor. You need to identify all these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven partitions. Now let's uh, go to GPT. GPT uh, now is a simple partition scheme. Use F disk to partition the second image into file partitions. Again, first, uh, uh, we need to mount that image. Then we with the F disk to partition this uh, this second image. Actually, uh, we can uh, we don't need to mount it. We can do it uh, directly on the image. But uh, okay, we we mount it first. Now I want to close the this one and uh, use low setup to mount my second image. So do low setup dash dash find image two. Oops. Password. Then I use a sudo low setup list to see what it is. Here you see our uh, uh, image two is a uh, on, on loop seven. And now we can use a uh, F disk actually for G port. To add a G part of the table, we need a G disk. And we are update this one a little later. We use a G disk. Let's see whether we have G disk. Yeah, we have a G disk here, right? G P T F disk called a G disk. Type device file name or press enter to exit. So the device name is D V loop. Uh, seven for image two. Yours may be different. I need to run as a root with sudo. sudo gdisk. Type this device. Okay, now you see none tables are presented because we didn't generate anything yet. Generate new GPT entry in the memory. So let's make the larger. Question mark to see how to use it. The backup GPT data to a file, change partition name, delete partition, show detailed information partition and so on. And we want to uh, create a new empty GPT partition table first, then add a new partition. And at the end, you can write table to disk and exit. It's just like uh, we use uh, the GUI version. First, we can do a lot of operations. At the end, you write the stuff and exit. So first, we create the, a new empty GID partition table. Oh, Delete all partitions and create a new protective MPO, yes. 
now we have a table. How do we see that table? We can show information, show information, detailed information on a partition, a list of known partition types, and so on. And if we type I to see what we have, no partitions. Type L. Type L, L means a list of known partition types. Partition types, which means what uh, show all codes price ender to see what kind of partitions it supports. You see it supports so many uh, partition types. Price ender to see more. Press Q to quit. Q to quit. Come back. Come back now. I want to. Uh, it, there is no way uh, here. You didn't say how to view that GPT. Uh, Table, right? It's okay. Now we we can go on and add a new partition. Currently, we could we find the size, the information on our disk. For example, we have 500 megabytes. Let's see which one used to show. P print partition table. So let's use P or we we use white file. So we use P to have a look. Now we use P, you can see uh, the information is sharp. We have so many sectors, 500 megabytes. Here the sector size, 512. GeoID, now we have a disk identifier. And this one, partition table can hold up to 128 entries, which means we can uh, create 128 partitions in this uh, GPT table. Main partition table begins at sector two and ends at sector 33. So what are sector zero and sector one used for? As we just see it here for protective MPR, the first sector. And we will see it later. And you can also see the G partitions will be aligned on sector boundaries 2048. That's why you always see 2048 frequently, which means they are due divisible, they're offset or divisible by this 2048. And for GPT, you want to learn some information about GPT here. Come to this place to see what GPT means. And this is uh, about GPT, what it looks like here. The first one, protect your MBR. The second one is the primary GPT header. Then from two to 33, these are the entries, 128 uh, entries. And each entry, you see the, the four entries takes a, a sector. Then after that, this is from this uh, LBA 34. LBA, we know it's a logic block uh, address or sector address index from zero, zero, one, two, three, and so on. Here you see the partition. Uh, at the end, you see the many partitions, and also you see backup here. The backup of those uh, partition table here, the backup of those partition table, and also there is a backup for that uh, GPT header here, a secondary GPT header. So the, this backup is very useful for recovery if the, this part are destroyed or corrupted. Now we want to go back to see uh, this stuff. Here you can see uh, each entry is 128 bytes. So for each sector, we can hold only four entries, right? Here you see there are only four entries. Actually, we can see it here. Each logic block is uh, 512 bytes in size and each entry is 128 bytes. That's why we have only four entries inside each uh, sector. And it says start from the total uh, search tree. When you check here, it says from uh, two and at uh, 33 inclusive. So first the unusable sector is uh, 34. So this is not right, 34, it's not right, because it's, uh, it's uh, aligned on this 
zero four eight. So this this illustration is is not right, but it's okay to show uh, many major ideas. Now you can check this uh, for each entry for the header. You can go through this uh, description. Each entry, partition attributes, for Windows 32 bits, 64 bits, and uh, GUID for various uh, system. You can see this is GUID. Now you can see this one is uh, quite uh, simple than uh, MBO. Okay, we want to. Uh, create a, a new one, right? I don't remember, so I type a question mark again. New, new partition, we use a N, add a new partition. So we use a N, add a new partition. Now, partition number, partition number one to one to eight, default is one. Total we have 128 uh, uh, partitions, right? Let's just start from one, two, three, four, and so on. It looks like you can choose other numbers. Let's start from one. Or maybe we can just uh, put some other number, 10, 20, 30, and so on, to have a look. And the first sector, here you see the first text is, uh, is uh, by default is uh, 2048. But it says uh, it's OK, could it be used from 34? When we check this one here, first the usable sector is 34, last usable sector is this one, and the partition will be aligned on this boundary. So let's put a 34, which means that the illustration is right, 34, right? We can put a 34 to have a look. When we type 34, you see it's automatically moved that requested sector from 34 to 2048 in order to align on these 2048 sector boundaries. You can use L on the X plus manual to adjust the alignments. Let's use uh, the default adjustment. You can use uh, L to adjust the alignments. For example, uh, align on just sector by sector. It's okay we use, use the default one. Now the size, la la last uh, sector. Last sector, could we type a size here? Or size, it says, says size, we can use this uh, kilo, mega, giga, but now we don't know the unit is byte or, or sectors. It's uh, unlikely be sectors, right? So we type 100 megabytes, the size. And the current type is uh, Linux. So what kind of system do we want to use? L to show the code, and uh, we will use the default code. We use the L, show the code, Press and uh, show all the code. Actually, I showed code before. So we want to create a, a Windows one, then create some Linux one. But uh, now we didn't see those uh, fat uh, NTFS and those kind of stuff, right? Even for Windows, also Microsoft does reserve the Microsoft Basic. We don't know which one to choose. And Microsoft Storage Space, LDM data, LDM uh, metadata. So we need a, a explanation. But uh, let's just choose uh, any of them. Let's choose a basic one here, 0700. Zero, zero. 0700. Hex code or string to show all code. I type 077, it asks me to uh, type it again. So, how do I type it? Here's the code shows like this. When I type this one, it still asks me uh, to type it. Oh, because here it just uh, enter to show all code. Type search string. So actually, my bad, because I type error here. So we should type a 0700 here. Now it will accept it. 
change the type of partition to Microsoft basic data. Now we can print the stuff. Here you see this. Uh, it's uh, saved at uh, GPT entry 8 or uh, 10. Totally, we have 108 entries, right? And the start sector and the sector, the size, because the alignment, you, you see uh, one, one map by this car. The code 0, 07, uh, 0, 0. Now we create, create the next one. Your next one, and the partition number 20. Give it an entry 20. And the first sector, now you see this a, a, a little bit uh, uh, confusing. The first sector, we still choose number can go from. But the default, you see it will, it will ask you to go from this place here. Here, right? Is this number minus this number, you will get it to 2048. So you, you can use it for, it will adjust automatically for us if you choose some number less than this one. Uh, let's uh, just type the size, which means that we are allocated for us continuously. Now let's type uh, 100 megabytes again. For this, uh, well, we want to create five uh, partitions, right, for the second task. Oops, uh, I need to type the first second first. But uh, it says all size. I type the size, it does not accept. It's still ask me for the uh, first sector. The first sector, I choose this default one. So now you see you can choose some, a little bit of large numbers. So which means between these partitions, you may have lots of unused uh, uh, sectors. And in that, in those unused sectors, those uh, criminals, they can hide information inside of there. Or hackers, they can hide information over there. Oh, those are unused sectors. Now I type the last sector or the size, I type 100 uh, megabytes. Why it does not uh, accept my 100 megabytes? It still asks me uh, for a uh, second number. So this, uh, well, for this one, I use 100 megabytes, it's uh, accepted. But why this one, it uh, does not uh, accept. When I try to use 100 megabytes here, anyone notice the problem? Right, the last sector, it says we can type the size. I succeeded here, the last sector, I type 100 megabytes. But here, why I type 100 megabytes, uh, it does not work. All right, plus 100 megabytes. Let's do the plus or minus. Okay, plus 100 megabytes. Okay, thank you, James. And now that it uh, went on. And this one, let's uh, just choose a, a Linux file system and a price. Enter, it will accept the default. The default one. Now we have two uh, sectors. We can verify with a print. Here you see with this print, you see it's 100 megabytes. It's go to 99 megabytes. Now we, with a plus, it, it gives us a precise uh, allocated uh, space. Right, now let's create, create the third one, type a new partition and we use the 30 and uh, the the sector size of the start sector we use this default one we allocate them continuously actually let's practice some interesting we, we use a, a little bit larger number right which means uh, we will leave some uh, sectors uh, unallocated. This will be uh, adjusted again to align with the 2048. Yeah, the alignment is it is uh, it adjusted. It's okay now. Uh, the last sector uh, allocated 100 megabytes. 
And the code, I would like to choose another one. Now this time I choose, uh, let's say, let's choose uh, Windows uh, Microsoft Resolve 0C01. 0C01. Press Enter and press Print. We have three sectors now. Now we still need to create two. Type a new. And this uh, for 40. The for that uh, entry number. And the first sector, let's use this default, is okay. Copy and paste here. Then the size, again, 100 megabytes. Then uh, the hex code or GID. We can also type a GID. Now for that GID list, we just see uh, that GID list from, from here, right? GID list, uh, let's to, uh, to the Mac. Uh, Mac, now which Mac for, for personal computer? There are Mac, Apple uh, RAID partition and so on. Recovery partition. So I don't know which one is for normal use. Let's choose this one. Type a GID, paste here. Now you see it says the type is Apple HF S H F S plus. So it looks good. We print uh, now the last one we type a new to create the last one. Now this time uh, 50 for the let's type 100 or 128, the last one. Now the size we want to accept all the the first one. Okay, the first one we copy copy and paste here. And the last one, we want to allocate all those stuff, copy and paste here. Then uh, the GID or GID, let's copy one from here. We choose uh, which one do we want to choose? Linux swap partition. Let's choose the Linux swap partition. Here, Linux swap partition. You may choose any of this stuff just for fun. Okay, now I have all this stuff to print. I have all these uh, file uh, partitions. Then I need to write all this information, right? Change partition types, we, we, we use write to write all this stuff. Before you write, you can do all other uh, modification. Let's write it. And press uh, yes. Now it's, uh, the operation succeeded. Okay, now how do you analyze uh, manually? You need to, uh, you need to uh, follow as we analyze that uh, M MBR. So you check this, uh, this information here and use that double uh, X hex editor to check by yourself. You can check this stuff because you only need to identify where they are. So you just need to go to the sector but I strongly suggest you to do some uh, analysis for each uh, for the table and for each entry, for each entry to find these bytes, to find uh, the information of each uh, fields. So for the lab, you, what do you need to complete? Here you use a uh, unmounted Use an image state, then use the MMLS. We still have several minutes, let's do it. First, we unmount it, sudo low setup, dash dash detach, right? Dash dash detach device, loop uh, seven. Okay, it's detached. Now we use a uh, image state on image two, and uh, you use uh, MMLS on image two, so you get this information start and start end, and you see uh, we created a 
file partition. Here's the GPT header. Here is the safe table. Here, that is the first sector, that is safe table. This one. The protective MBR is this safe table. This is the GP, GPT header in this. Uh, here we have uh, unallocated, uh, right? You see 2048 is unallocated. Now our GPT header is come to this place. But it's not one, yes, yeah, so it's the first one, the first sector, one, the first sector. The, not the first, the second sector in, indexed from zero. Or we say it the, the, how do we say it? This, if we say it number zero sector, then this is the number one sector. Now come to the partition table. Here's the partition table, you can see it from, from uh, sector two to 33. This is a partition table. And we have file partitions. It's the first partition here. The, now we have some unallocated space. Then we have uh, three, I have the other four partitions allocated continuously. We still have some unallocated space because the boundary is uh, 2048, right? We have some unallocated space. Oh. At this place, actually, they will contain the backup in those uh, last uh, space as it shows here. So I suggest you to check them to to find those backup space. So you need to identify here. Use your WXI to identify the information shown with the MMLS. So just similar to to this MBR analysis. And you see, for GPT is quite simple. It's much, much simpler than uh, MBR. Right? This, 